Hey family, welcome back to my channel, The Pisces Way. A face for a Pisces made just for a Pisces sun, moon, and rising. And you already know, it's your girl, High Priestess more, And you already know how we do. So sit back and relax. And we definitely gonna get the tea for the Pisces. Okay, cross rocks is our destiny. Welcome. Let's sage our space and go right in with the prayer. High power, archangels, ancestors, gods, and goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my family as we dip into this read please protect our energy from any unwanted souls vibes or entities please give us the clarity and the truth please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom always and forever higher power archangels and sisters of the divine white light sorry about that showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings the lessons the seasons and new beginnings for you delivering us away from temptation guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Now, with that being said, let's tap in. Okay, Pisces face the sun, moon, and rising anywhere you have Pisces in your chart. Cross rocks are definitely welcome. Seven, please keep in mind I am not only a tarot reader, but I am also a psychic. My readings definitely could be future based. Please take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. Mm. I'm hearing feeding ego, but I just think ego death. So. I feel like somebody here is being like eaten alive. I'm hearing sucky bit. Somebody is being eaten alive though. Like um, I'm getting like self harming or like self pleasuring. A lot of self energy, but it's not this person. It's some somebody has like some type of uh, entity or like some type of portal, an entryway for him downstairs or other spirits. To be able to attach to somebody and i know that's kind of heavy coming out of the reading but i was actually getting some really good messages i was getting that song um i'm dreaming of a white christmas just like the one i used to know it's coming from santa claus movie that could be significant for somebody and then i was also getting um Meet me at the altar in your white dress. We ain't getting no younger. We might as well do it. Um, but yeah, so take those messages how it may resonate. That's what I was hearing. Something about family. Family being at stake. Somebody feels like their family is at stake. Okay. Jeopardizing some type of partnership. This could be what's on somebody's mind. Okay. Taking place or taking, it says play. Oh, play on your own playground, and it says taking one for the team. Wow! And then at the bottom of the deck, you got. I just wanted to see what you will do. So, okay, pretty a little bit heavy here. Um, stop. Wait a minute. The way you're doing that, girl, you didn't got my heart all in it. Wanna see the truth tonight. I don't know, this could be somebody introducing themselves or saying something. Um, but with this play on your own playground, I'm getting like somebody's making up their own mind, okay, or being themselves, okay. Somebody's decided to, I'm hearing a scholar, somebody could be in school or something with school. Traveling, study, something about study, up to date, research, prenatal chart. Somebody's researching prenatal charts. Somebody's defensive about pregnancy. Somebody's researching the prenatal charts. Um, or, or, I don't know, somebody's defensive. We got the seven of wands. Somebody could be protective as well. Somebody could want to have a baby. Um, somebody want to introduce themselves, though. I feel like somebody want to stop somebody dead in their, dead in their tracks. I feel like this person feels like you've been moving too fast. You're in a fast lane or something here. It's it's just crazy because it's switch. It, the energy keeps switching. I feel like I'm in somebody's energy where this could definitely be your soulmate, your lover, your twin flame. Okay, high level soulmate, kindred spirits. What I just heard, but I'm getting like I I, I feel like I'm talking to somebody who got a lot on their mind. Something's heavy. I'm here lock and load. Making some type of exchange or I'm also hearing evaluation. Somebody's coming to terms with something. 
you know, it's re reinventing themselves and reevaluating around them. This could be you or your person. Somebody's having to change your heart about something. But with this play on your own playground, I just feel like somebody here is like tired of seeing other people shine or get ahead or get, um, you know, not like a jealousy type of energy, but somebody here want, wants to, you know, be on top for themselves. Yeah, somebody here, I'm hearing celebratory, somebody celibate. Somebody don't mind minding their own business. And I'm going to turn this Queen of Pentacles around because if, if y'all noticed that it flipped like this, and I'm going to turn it back because she laid in the upright. That was on purpose. So I'm getting like somebody here is deciding that a good option or a good choice or somebody, I don't know, somebody could be viewing somebody as a playground because we got the Queen of Pentacles here. Somebody's a, a, a authority figure, okay? I'm also getting like you're a channeler or you get messages and downloads from the divine. Somebody here is really great with their money. They, they have a really nice saving account or they're really good at multitasking, developing money. Um, It's something about not giving an offer here. I don't know if somebody's shy. This could have something to do with money. Somebody could be focused on money, even their children. Somebody could be getting startled in the middle of the night. You could be hearing voices, or somebody's hearing voices are being haunted. I'm getting um, extraterrestrial beings. So for some of you guys, yeah, you're you're seeing extraterrestrial beings. You're seeing like aliens. Have strength. This is somebody from your past. Is your past lover an alien? Or like some type of, yeah, I'm hearing geometric shape. Every time I get to thinking about geometric, I get to think about shit that's like real complicated to understand. Uh, they could just have like, thank you. They could just have like, you know, reptilian ancestors or somebody here that has alien ancestors. Somebody's like, I'm hearing geographic. And it's crazy because as I look at this card, I see nothing but the stars. It's something about the moon, outer space here. It's just like shit is playing right in your sight. Like some, this is what I'm getting. I don't know. Okay, look. It's all coming kind of quick. Somebody's ex is visiting them. This could be this could be astral projecting, but I'm getting like this person is in a form of an alien. I'm not getting that or some type of lizard species. I, I don't know exactly if this is bad just yet. I'm not getting a bad vibe from it, y'all. Like, it's weird. And I feel like that's where the, the complication come in at. Okay. Because we got the high priestess here in reverse, and we got the six cups. So, that was clarifying. So, for some of y'all, this is your damn uh, ex here. Get in receiving. This is somebody your ex is working with. If you messing, you know, if you're dealing with a high priestess in reverse, or you are a high priestess, um, and you got a, somebody a high priestess in reverse. This is somebody's ex, okay? You could be a feminine, you could be a masculine, take high resonant, but um, these things is visiting you at night. This somebody here is working with some type of anti, um, anti. Okay, some type of DNC, okay? To, like, I don't know, this could be spying, this could be stalking, this could be, I'm hearing um, terrestrial beings. Hmm. Somebody here, maybe, I don't know. Y'all, this is weird, but I'm getting like this first because it's just saying, like, giving and receiving. Okay, high power confirmed it, but it's just saying giving and receiving, meaning, like, I feel almost like this person is a damn reptile. Or a, a lizard or alien or something here. But my thing is, I don't feel a heavy spirit. Somebody's in this cloaking energy. Like, they're cloaking their energy. Because I, I promise you guys, I did not feel like a heavy, dark spirit or a bad spirit. Because, I mean, High Priestess in Reverse, is a, that's somebody that's doing something bad. I'm not getting that. Like, well, I'm getting that this person could be bad. But I'm getting like, they're, they got to be cloaking their energy. Yeah. This person's in balance here. For some of y'all, they know you can see them. That's the thing. They could be trying to scare you or hunt you. Um, 
It could be trying to scare you out of celebrating. It could even be making you feel like you're doing something bad. I'm hearing somebody issued a warrant. All right, somebody's thinking about issue, issuing a warrant. Somebody's taking action. I'm hearing take my advice and shut up too. I feel like somebody's fighting back. I'm here fire, fight fire with fire. But I feel like somebody here on the other end is not going to get um, burned, okay? Because I feel like somebody is using somebody's worst nightmares against them. But this is not like the way they play dirty. Somebody here played dirty. And it's like somebody's using their own, somebody's tactics or measures against them, right? Yeah, somebody's um, been conjuring up marine spirits and um, the damn Leviathan thing. It's a lizard. It's like a big ass dragon or a lizard thingy. Um, this is really crazy. For somebody here, somebody here, yo, one of your, one of your. I'm getting like it's some type of connection with the Leviathan. Um, or I don't even know if I'm saying the name right. Leviathan or Lathia, Lathian, Lathian, or it's something like that. Okay, y'all can look it up if y'all want. But for some of y'all, I, I feel like it's a connection here. Or your person, somebody here has a connection. I don't get that if it's third party. I feel like this person's conjuring up something here. Somebody has this thing as like. It's really weird, dog. Like, it's like, it's almost like somebody's related to that thing or have that thing in their family, some type of soul contract or something here. Now, for some of y'all, I don't know, this could definitely have been like an offering or a sacrifice um, to this thing. This could, start, this could have happened as a child. And it's like ever since then, this thing has been trying to attack you or come after you. Um, and it's giving me like with this this person here is giving and receiving with this thing. Giving and receiving. I feel like this is because somebody's deciding to play on their own playground. I also feel like this is some type of consequence. I'm hearing burnt out because with this take one for the team, it's almost as if somebody knows this is happening or they got some type of understanding of it. Like I feel like somebody here could definitely have been born into like a dark family. Look, we got death. Have been born into like a dark family, dark um, and uh, cult. Or you were sacrificed, like, or you were offered up to one, like, you know, unwillingly. But I feel like somebody is trying to make a right decision here. And the right decision, I feel like, is somebody wants a partnership or want to work with somebody and start something heavy. They see this as a good idea. They see this as a good investment and where they want to go with things, okay? Somebody wants to move forward in their life, okay, and be happy. And this is Queen of Pentacles here. This could be you or it could be this person here. I'm just, I just seen the Ace of Wands. Secrets. So, there, what is going on here? So, okay, so we got strength and then we got X. For some of y'all, the reason why it came out like this, because this is your ex that's connected with this person who's connected with a damn um, spirit or this thing has ties. No, well, nobody told you to blow out my candle. Yeah, it's a lot of fighting and conflict going on. I feel like somebody here is very confused, like, because they don't, it's giving me an energy of, like, once you found out, or, or if you don't, you will. If you find out what your family, so I just seen this in the cup. You find out what your family been doing or what they've been into. Oh, look at that. I'm trying to knock my camera down. Find out what your family been doing or what your family been into. I feel like you could be somebody who wants to break free. But because, you know, they've been carrying this on for so long, it's almost like this thing has a thirst for you. And they could have been, or they currently are coming through family. They're coming through friends. Or for some of y'all, like I said, this is your person. 
this is your person and the thing is coming out the your person okay and for some of y'all they could feel like you know they could want you to but i'm getting specifically it's for your ex because we have strength here because i feel like whatever they whatever yeah look at that whatever they were get whatever and it's like somebody here has somebody like this thing this like um this this spirit right because it's, it's nothing but like a um a damn spirit like a demonic spirit animal okay i, I feel like i think it's even in the bible y'all can look it up on youtube if y'all want to it's it's, it's Lothi you just you know you can speak in the speaker okay i don't want to keep saying the name but it's like this thing it has attached themselves and and came it had became a form of this this person whether this is a man or a woman here because high priestess could be a man or a woman but i'm getting like this definitely could be a feminine yeah again lots of arguments it's something about this this thing is feeding off of this person's energy Making them be very active or making them do shit. Um, and like and like I said here, this person could be losing money. But what I'm getting though, it's like with the strength card, I feel like it's somewhere that you need not to turn your way, your um, yourself away from this person. Higher power doesn't want you to turn yourself away from this person. Yeah. Don't reject this person. You got the four of cups coming out in the reverse. Four of cups, the upright cups. So it's coming upside down because you don't know this. High power does not want you to reject this person. There's something like this person needs you. There's a conversation that needs to be had. And I feel like this is going to break a chain here. Get out. Go. Go watch TV. I'm hearing break every chain. Break every chain. Look, I just seen the high priestess. This is gonna break some type of chain. I, I, I seen the high priestess in reverse. I do apologize. Here we go. This is gonna break some type of change with chain with this heart. And then you see the emperor in reverse right behind it. I feel like this person's in a reverse until they make this change. And then they're gonna break a chain here. Yeah, that's gonna lead them to come waters. I'm getting break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. Okay, let me see. What's this secret here? What's this high power? It's a secret you don't know about. It's something you don't know about. I'm hearing somebody say you don't understand or you wouldn't understand. I'm hearing I've been going. Yeah, I feel like somebody here, Scorpio energy, I feel like somebody here is it's kind of fucked up about what they've been going through or what, what's, what's been going on with them. Their inner circle or the people that they, you know, caught. I'm hearing partnerships who they decided to be in partnerships with, friendships with. This person has even been lied on. This could even be you. What's this here? Yeah, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. What's this here, high power? Archangels, ancestors of the divine white light only. What's this? I'm seeing the king of cups. I'm, uh, six of wands wanted to come out anyway. Seven of wands. So, they came out together. So, I'm getting like there's going to be some type of victory here. There's still going to be some type of victory. Penet uh, oh, I heard penetration. I'm also hearing penitentiary, and I'm also hearing, um, I'm hearing pilot. I'm also hearing thinking of a master plan. Uh, I'm thinking of a man. Somebody's thinking of a master plan. They can want to fly you out or do something nice for you. Some type of giving and receiving to help out with you. This person was giving and receiving with this individual up here at first. Your person or you were. And that's how you got bonded to this thing. Like, 
Not, I mean, I'm getting like whether it's somebody was bonded through their family or both. Because it could be something where you break away from your family, but the person you love or was in a relationship with, it could easily, especially when you're dealing with demonic spirits, if that person has a portal or opening into them, it easily could jump inside that body and transmute. You know what I'm saying? And, and become one with that person and their soul. And have that person take on the mission to do, you know, to, to, to you know, do whatever they're going to do to you. However they're going to do it. Um, for some of y'all, they want your soul. And they want to feed off of you. So they want to be able to attach themselves like a leech. Literally, like a big-ass leech. I'm getting, like, sucking on somebody. Literally suck on you and how you affect others and continue to feed him downstairs your energy. Because it would be your energy, too. I feel like somebody going to self-destruct, though. So I feel like because of these secrets here... And everything, secrets about this Queen of Pentacles. There was some type of ending. But I feel like somebody's gotten all the clarity. You found out all the clarity, the truth. You know exactly what's going on here. Who had their hand to do with something. Who was like, um, I'm hearing a co-conspirator. Co so I feel like for some of y'all, you even got, you know who all had their hand in what. Who had their hand in lying? Who had their hand in actually doing what they did? Who had their hand in manipulating? Who had their hand in everything? Yeah, Hierophant. I feel like somebody's learned. Learn. And I'm, I feel like somebody's at their best. I'm here at your peak. You're at your highest point. I feel like spiritually wise, somebody is really, you know, elevating and becoming one with the divine. You're getting to know more about yourself, your ancestors, okay? Because it's like the farther you get away from this thing, for some of y'all, you broke away from family. And for some of y'all, sad to say, but this partnership was the last to go. But for some of y'all, that's the that's probably the biggest link or the second biggest link or it's going to be that chain that's going to free you, okay? It's going to be that chain that's going to free you or free your person. That's why this is important here. Because this thing was jumping through plenty. For some of y'all, a lot of people in your family was embodying this spirit. Um, and several others, too. Several, several others. I'm getting, I'm getting like a room full of spirits. And demons, demonic spirits. Yeah. I feel like this is something you don't see coming. I'm here. I feel like falling in love. I need some drinking my cup. I don't know. Somebody's going to go out drinking. I don't know what I'm missing. I don't need a prescription. I want to go higher. I feel like somebody's going to get high. Oh, you know what? I feel like somebody here experiment by dim and dab and drugs or other like experiments. Because I'm hearing like mushrooms. I'm hearing all kinds of shit. Somebody might experience other type of drugs other than, like, I'm getting, like, marijuana. Somebody might be like, that, you know, they want to be higher than that. Or they want you to be higher than that. For some of y'all, some of y'all, you're not, you not going to abuse substance. For some of y'all, it just could be alcohol, though. It don't have to be, like, I mean, it don't have to be nothing hard, hard like that. Y'all, because I'm here hard on that soft. So somebody here was dealing with that booba sugar. I right, they was. That girl or that boy, that harder than soft. So, I feel like somebody here was dipping and dabbing, man. Somebody like to get high. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I get high, high, high. Yeah, somebody do mushrooms. Have to be. Because now I'm, I'm seeing uh, planes. Oh, hold the fuck up. Who's scared to fly on the plane? Somebody scared to fly on the plane? Or... Somebody likes to get high and fly on a plane, or they want to be high when they fly on a plane. They feel like it'll be relaxing. I'm getting planes with Kevin Hart, and I'm getting Snoop Dogg when he was, and I heard pilot. And y'all know Snoop Dogg was a pilot. I don't know. That could be significant for somebody here. Uh, pilot courses or something here, or maybe somebody's just. This could be something like a little romantic thing. You know how people take, cause I'm getting like this could be like a date. 
I'm getting like an open field and somebody takes somebody flying. Y'all know how they do a romantic when it's like a pilot and then it's like you and it's like your person. Um, and then you go like in the air or somewhere. But I'm, I'm getting like somebody scared of heights though. Whether somebody's scared of heights or they just feel like the experience would be better if they high. Alright. But some of y'all is just alcohol, beverages. But I, I, I honestly, I wouldn't take no alcohol. I wouldn't drink no alcohol. No damn. Going up on no plane. But some of y'all, I'm getting air balloon. I'm getting air balloon. Because I'm I'm not necessarily getting like a pilot. I'm getting like somebody orchestrating something in the sky. This could be, y'all, I'm hearing bungee jumping. Oh, wow. This sounds like some fun stuff. I want like somebody scared of heights. I feel like somebody scared of heights or somebody, they, that's probably what they tell saying. Like, because I'm here, I want to go higher and I'm going to sit on top of you. Somebody trying to have sex in the air. I'm here, sex in the city. This could be New York. Or somebody want to go to New York. Somebody could want to fly around. I'm here in Manhattan. Somebody want to do something really nice. I'm here in a chopper, a helicopter. Somebody could have like a private jet, a private plane or something. I don't know. Parachuting. What is this, y'all? Somebody trying to do some what? <laughs> I'm hearing you only live once. Somebody saying parachuting. They're trying to experience what all life has to bring. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Somebody really want to have fun, man. And, like, I'm getting, like, that big jump off the cliff. So, I'm getting, like, for some of y'all, you might go to Jamaica. For some of y'all, you just might be, like, in the air a lot. Because you might go on, like, a lot of trips. What came out? Whoa, the world. For some of y'all, that's right. Power, I feel like this gonna really change. It's gonna change up a lot of shit for y'all. Like some of y'all, a lot of travel plans, a lot of on the go energy, business women, business men. For some of you, you guys, you are gonna be traveling and doing a lot of business, and this is gonna be able to afford the luxury of life that you want. Bungee jumping, rock climbing, um, cliff diving. Ooh. I heard dumpster diving. I feel like somebody a hater. Now we finna okay. Uh, who what what they talking about? Yeah, dumpster diving. I feel like somebody is finna be dumpster diving. Or I feel like what somebody trying to say. Somebody could be hating on your relationship. I feel like what somebody could be trying to say is like, because I'm hearing something about surfing. Like surfing the internet, trolling. Um, I'm getting like if somebody's like looking somebody up or monitoring them. Uh, I'm here uh, Miami Beach House or something like that. Somebody could be trying to keep tabs of what somebody is doing, um, observing them, who what they're doing, what they're planning on doing, what who they're planning on doing it with. This person could be jealous, and I'm getting like. Somebody here could be feeling as if like you are downgrading with whoever you be wanting to be in a relationship with. I feel like it's a lot of arguing and fight and um, stipulation. I feel like it's a lot of like animosity and envy, you know, grudge holding. I'm getting. I'm getting for some of y'all. If somebody here is being haunted by somebody or something, I'm getting this grudge like type of energy. And I'm also hearing stranger danger, call 911. Stranger danger danger. And that's look no real happy. That's one of her little songs on her little kids show. But you, let me tell you what I'm getting though. Whoever this person is, I feel like whoever been doing whatever they've been doing with these entities, entities, and you know, but no. no you finna go watch, go watch TV. You making too much noise in here. I told you already. Whoever been doing whatever they been doing, whatever these entities or whatever, this person is unable to, you know, catch you, okay? I'm here, gut you like a fish. Yeah, Pisces. 
Somebody, I don't know, they could have tried to cut you or stab you or do something here. This could have be, even been in a dream state. You could f physically be fighting this person in a dream state. Or, um, if, yeah, I'm getting on for some of y'all. You could be physically fighting this person in a dream state or something. Or if not, this is... This is an ex, but this could be a feminine ex. Okay? Um, no, I'm here, baby mama. Baby mama, baby mama, I'm tired of you. For some of y'all, somebody here, whether this is you or your feminine, or this could be the masculine as well, but somebody's physically fighting this person in a dream state. And I'm getting like this person could have wanted to cut you, cut your face, okay? Uh, I'm here, cut your eyeballs. They want to put X's on your eyeballs. You know what that's giving me an energy of? Caroline. When she kept going to sleep and when she woke and when she would um, travel um, into the tunnel, it's almost like into a whole nother world, a whole nother trans or illusion in some type of sort. And it's like she, and it's like everybody there had X's on their eyes. It's something like that. It's almost giving me energy of like, yeah, I'm here poltergeist. And that's, that's them damn things that, you know, they seem like. Oh my word, look, I was shuffling and that came out. Okay, so for some of y'all, you already know, but with that Portuguese spirit, it's like, um, it could, this could be an older lady as well doing this, or got their hand in this, whether this is a feminist ex or this is a, yeah, they don't want your heart chakra to be open. They don't want your heart chakra, They what they trying to do is penetrate your heart chakra, or they tried to in the past. Somebody's rebellion, though. Somebody went against the grain. These people are upset. Somebody's trying to hide their hand, though. As far as their development, uh, something about social skills. Yeah, I'm here. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. When skies are gray. If you were somebody that you deal with like a lot of anxiety or like separation, uh, like what's that called? Abandonment issues or like, uh, I'm hearing sleep deformation. I'm hearing a lot of shit. It's this older lady that's doing this. It's like a playground for her. She penetrates the energy and it's, it's, it's kind of fun, almost a, like an amusement park. It gives... This woman, some type of rush or thrill to um, manipulate you or to like, um, this shit is weird, y'all. Or to manipulate your person to kind of like summon them. It's amazing. Like, say for instance, if somebody's like, oh, call me. And they say that in their head. And, and next thing you know, you call this person. It's something like that. They laugh to themselves. Like, yeah, something like that. That shit weird. I feel like this is all about control, whoever this is. They not able to do this no more, though. It don't mean or matter. And if this was an ex, like an ex, a feminist ex, and a, a mother was doing this with this ex, this, they, they, because for some of y'all, this is two different situations. This could be these spirits on both sides, like the same fucking spirit on both sides of two people. A masculine could be going through some shit and a feminine could be going through some shit. Two different situations. Same fucking spirit. You feel me? Something like that. It's weird. Um, but if you, if you were with like a guy and you felt this way like about them and their mother, then that will be confirmation for you. But for some of you guys, this is a feminine, and this could be your mother or their mother, okay? For some of y'all, it's all of the above. You'll be surprised, man. You'll be surprised. You think it's like one person, two people. It'd be like five motherfuckers. You'd be like, what? Like, when you really unravel everything, you're like, damn, they can't know me too. Like, y'all, I'm, 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 I'm going to be straight honest with me. I have an uncle who's been doing black magic for a long time. I had to explain that shit to my dad because 
Black magic could very well be wordplay. A motherfucker just manifesting your downfall. Oh, I wish you died. I wish you nothing but the nothing at all. I was to say nothing but the best. So for some of you guys, there is there could be like an uncle who's wishing somebody's the best. Okay. But I'm I'm speaking like on my situation. That'd be nice, you know, that'd be nice to have some for some of you guys you need supporters and that's why you have this like uncle who's supporting you or helping you, or you could have another uncle who was no good, okay? And you could resonate with this, that portion, that portion as well. But I'm getting like, you know, my he don't know he was sitting down and doing, you know, black magic, or saying black, you know, speaking black magic, speaking uh foul against people in the family, and he didn't think he was doing it. Or he probably don't know exactly what the fuck he was doing. Oh, yeah, you'll lose that job. Oh, yeah, you'll lose that house. You'll be back. He used to say some hurtful shit, y'all. Like, yeah, you ain't gonna never be nothing in life. And for no reason, like, just, damn. You just, you know, you be like, Harry, um, yeah, shit, bullshit ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Get to talking plenty stuff. Like, dang, you, dang. You know, something like that. Like, it, and then I'm like, I had to explain that shit to my dad. Like, man, he been doing black magic on you for a long time, manifesting your downfall. I'm like, but he do it on everybody in the family because he's speaking so strong and with so much passion and aggression. He mean that shit. He mean that from the bottom of his heart. Yeah, you gonna lose everything in your life. You ain't gonna never be shit. He mean that. You feel me? Like, it be shit like that. You gotta separate yourself from, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's weird. For some of y'all, you could just be like, oh, yeah, I'm just talking shit or auntie just talking shit. Like, if you resonate with that part, our cousin or our grandma or grandpa, they just talking shit. No, they mean that shit. They mean that. And you got to watch all these older people, too, man. They be doing shit back in the day. Stop that. Stop it. They be, they, they. They man, be a lot of shit you will find out about back in the days in these older, older folks. What was I getting to though? But that's what I was getting. Sorry, thank you, thank you, high power. I was saying, stranger danger, call nine one one. This is what I'm getting. So. Whoever who was connected with this thing or whatever, now this thing is starting to eat up off of them. So what's happening now is they're being hunted. And they scared in the motherfucker, whoever this is, whether this is a man or a woman, they are really scared to death, scared for their life. But all in reality, it's, it's their own karma because of what they was playing around with. Because with that stranger danger, call 911, go. Yeah. Go out of here. I'm not going to say it again. I'm going to pause this camera. Because you have to keep on playing while I'm doing my reads. And you know I don't like that. But with that uh, Stranger Danger call 911, somebody, they trying to call for help and shit. They calling on these other entities or calling. You know, they could even be getting spiritual advice or tarot readings to try to look in on their own life to try to see. Look, confirmation. To try to see... You know, they, you know, what what the fuck is following me? Y'all, because I'm getting like a grudge spirit. For some of y'all, it's your ancestors. Listen, listen, look at this. The lies that somebody has told on you is haunting them. It's to the point where... It's almost like... It's giving me the energy of like you shouldn't really fuck with people because you don't know who who what's unleashed behind. It's almost giving me something like fucking um. I'm getting a little bit of that cabin in the woods energy, when the kids had uh, went into that basement in that cabin and they started fucking with shit and each thing connected to a whole fucking uh, monster demon or whatever. It was like a story with all of them. And so, whichever one touch it, I think whichever which one of them touch the thing, it come alive or it come after them or they read something. Like, if you bounce the ball, next thing you know, it's a little boy haunting you. It was his ball. That's how the movie Captain in the Woods was going. But I'm getting something like that. 
somebody here unleashed some shit. When they fucked with you, they didn't know who your ancestors was. For some of y'all, it's weird, bro. Just like this with this thing. Some of y'all, you got real demons. I know it sounds a little crazy, right? But you could definitely have real demons that's on your side. Like, that's on your side. So some of y'all, you're connected to the underworld, bro. It, it don't have nothing to do with you, though. It's your ancestors, though. It's your ancestors. You got to think about it like we do. We got good and bad ancestors. And we got we got, we got got our spirit team, our you know, that's on the angelic realm. But then we also got our own fucking demons. You know, when people say fighting their demons, they fight against their own damn demons. That means you your own worst enemy. You feel me? But when people come a lot, when people come... Uh, allies with their demons it get dangerous you feel me it get dangerous when you you connect and you tell them and they do they defend you and i mean it's supposed to because you can't have the moon without the sun you can't have the dark without the light you feel me so in, in, in my eyes i would say you know my personal opinion um that you would be better off becoming Friends with your demons. I mean, it makes sense. Especially when motherfucker fucking with you. You got shit like this happening. Because some of y'all, some was unleashed. Y'all, I'm getting like the doors. If y'all know Captain in the Woods, y'all know what I'm saying. When the doors opened up and all them shit came flying out and stuff like that. I'm getting something like that, y'all. Like, shit was unleashed. They was opening up doors. They didn't even know they was opening. Next thing they know, they got all these creatures and shit flying all around and all this shit. You feel me? They just... So I'm getting, it's really something like that, y'all. And it's like, I keep getting this grudge-like woman, bro. She got on a white dress. This this, this lady, it's, it's like a woman that's hunting this person. Or it's like, it's something that's hunting this person. For some of y'all, it, it could be even a grandma. For some of y'all, it don't even have to be. For some of y'all, I'm going to just be honest. Higher power didn't even want, like, the demons to get their hand on somebody. For some of y'all, it's a whole angel that's doing this. Or, like, it's like one of your ancestors who was allowed the privilege of putting this shit into their own hands. Meaning, like, they coming after this mother. It's like, I'm hearing ruthless. Because I'm getting, like, you know, they could be real nice. But it's like, if you fuck with my baby, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you, and it's it's not it's not gonna be nice. It's not gonna be nice. I'm finna fuck. I'm finna fuck your mind up. You feel me? It's something like that. Like I feel like for some of y'all, you definitely could have been dealing with somebody who was trying to make you crazy or say you was crazy. Uh, I'm here to commit suicide. Somebody tried to make you commit suicide, bro, and that's the main reason why they coming after this person. That's the main reason why. Cause somebody tried to make you commit suicide. I could be speaking to the divine feminine specifically. Now. I don't have to be, but I'm getting that, though. Yeah, I feel like for some of y'all, though, this person's constantly trying to apologize. This could be energetically. Or this person's like, you know, want to call you or say something to you, apologize. Uh, this could, like I said, even if this is an ex, this, this is a man here. I'm telling y'all, they don't even know what the fuck they're seeing. It's like, it's really like a scary movie or something to these people. Like, I'm getting like a motherfucker driving, and they look back and they seeing shit. Sitting behind them in a car and shit. And I keep getting something like the grudge or the ring. A woman with all this hair in front of her face. And I feel like I'm getting those energies because somebody could be Asian. Asian American. I mean, yeah, you could be Asian American. You got some type of Asian and background. I meant to say that the other day, too, when I was getting that, um, I did that one reading, I said, some of y'all ancestors is Mulan. Uh, I mean, not Mulan. Some of y'all ancestors is a dragon. I was getting Mulan energy. What's his name? The little lizard? I was getting like that. The little dragon. Some of y'all, but it's like, a, he's a big dragon, but it's like. And so, and it's not this, this damn thing here. For some of y'all, they did try to touch that thing to you as a child, but this is not, this is, you really have nothing to worry about. You really have nothing to worry about because whoever this is, I feel like this is just like a, 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 a like an update or something, just reading really. Because this part, whoever this person is, the high priest is in reverse, they not, they can't do shit with you. They can't do shit with you. 
It's done. Yeah, look, the star was twice. Oh my goodness, look. Look, it fell. It fell. The star was twice, y'all. It was on it was on the other side and it was on this side too. It was on the bottom of the deck. Yes. Yeah. I'm getting like somebody could be getting tarot reading, spiritual advice, and they're getting good news. And it's hurting somebody else. Somebody else is hurt to see somebody else get a gift or good news. Yup. Because somebody finna be, this man finna be missing out or something like that. Or mm, somebody could be uninspired by somebody. It's some type of good news. I keep seeing the eight of one. Whether somebody's inspired by a lie, somebody could be a liar. Yeah, some type of conflict or competition here. It's the Queen of Swords that's defensive. She's mad. Yep, look. She mad at this emperor. She causing bullshit. Now, I don't know if this is the same one as this high priestess in reverse. Or is this a different person? Yeah, because this is their justice. Bad luck. And they can't handle that. Look at that. They can't handle that. Because somebody finna take a leap of faith take a leap of faith and travel towards somebody and somebody can't handle that and this is a part of their bad luck i could be talking to the third party could be in here somebody is getting a green light to walk away from something because they don't want to deal with your bad luck whoever you are if you're a third party they don't want to have nothing to do with your bad luck this person mending their heart as well to fall back in love. I feel like falling in love. I need some drink in my cup. Yeah, somebody's realizing that they made the wrong choice before, and that's why they had a tire moment. And that's why they was almost spent a century in... Um, I'm hearing restraintment, I'm hearing penitentiary, and I'm also hearing um and karma. Somebody's understanding that. For some of y'all, it's all three. This person could have been going to jail back and forth. Who knows how their life would have spent? I feel like somebody's viewing somebody as bad luck. Or they're viewing as somebody as who has a bad atta attachment and they have bad luck attack you know, they're getting bad luck because of it. And somebody's like, I need to get the hell away from you. Because you are bad luck. Rejection. Four of Cups. Look, I'm here. I want to go missing. I need a prescription. I want to go higher. And I'm going to sit on top of you. Somebody want to have fun. Somebody like, I want to go missing. I want people to be calling and be like, damn, where y'all at? Where y'all been at? You been gone. You disappeared. Somebody's like, I want, I, I want, it, I want it to be like that. The two of cups with the wheel of fortune. I'm gonna go with no vices. Yeah, somebody is not. Look at that. Four swords in the reverse, with the temperance in the reverse, with the uh, six of wands and the upright coming upside down. They having, they having, they're having an, uh, I'm here, embodiment. I don't know what this is, y'all. Is they like, I'm here like suffocating. I'm here like heart beating fast at night. I don't know if they having like, y'all, it's giving me like, I'm here Portuguese again. It's giving me like, um, for some of y'all, they've been haunted by different spirits too. Because who knows whatever this person didn't unleash and what they've been doing. And they probably hunted about five different demonic spirits right now. Because they didn't try to open up different portals in different fucking dimensions doing shit. Aliens and shit. What the fuck is that? I do not know, y'all. Some type of reptile. Um, it, it got an eyes. It got eyes almost like a goat. But, but it's like a, a fucking alien. You know how the goat got the circles and 
it's weird what I'm seeing. It's like a goat. The eyes of a goat. If you've seen a goat and you see how they got the eyes going across the middle, it's something like that. And it's like yellowish, though. It's almost like somebody could have disease in their eyes. You know how, what they say? Diabetes or something. When you get those like dark black spots around your eyes or stress. I'm hearing germaphobe. Somebody's a germaphobe. Something about Pokemon. What is this? Because we got the King of Wands here. It's the King of Wands in regret about fighting. Fighting with you, fighting with someone. It could have caused a separation or a divorce. And we got the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, not Queen of Pentacles. A Queen of Cups coming out. Coming upside down. Mommy, I want to Okay, hold on. Let me see what is this. Then we're going to get ready and close it out. I don't want to be in a reading for too long, guys. Just want to give you guys an update. Um, Let me see something. Because let's pull out some handy dandy tea. I want to see what is this. Um, we got a king of wands here that you don't know about. Some of you don't know about a king of wands. I'm familiar spirit. And I'm also hearing familiar spirit. If I'm talking to a masculine here, then this got to be somebody else, divine feminine, dealing with. There was some type of brutal ending. This could also be like a passing away of a mother or somebody's going to be passing away. Something, I was saying, like somebody could be doing something with a mom here. Pisces. Ooh. Ooh, shit. I've I seen Plain Jane. I've seen Ballhead and Pisces. This could be another Pisces, Pisces, or this could just be talking about you. Give me those, booty. Yeah, somebody likes to play mind games. Somebody has suppressed emotions. Suppressed emotions and feelings. They have an anxiety about a resort. Okay, that's literally what I heard. I heard anxiety about a resort. Yeah, I'm hearing reservations. So somebody made reservations and somebody else is having anxiety about it. But I'm getting like, this is on the divine feminist part. Look, I'm seeing yes on the floor as Noel give me the card. Come with it. Shoot, they don't got to be perfect. They don't have to be cute. Thank you. Yeah, it was on purpose. I feel like because you're balanced, are you an earth angel? Yeah, they wanted to wish you death. Y'all literally, the cards do not lie. They wanted to wish you death here. This person is in this king of wands energy. But what is this though? There was a ten of swords. There was a price on your head, Pisces. On your person, or this could be your purse. Somebody was in some type of mind control because of their mother. This was a price on your head. Now, this could also be, I don't know, take it however then. This could be you, Divine Masculine. This could be Divine Feminine. We got healthy Yoni. But some of y'all, somebody's obsessed with your sex, sexual energy, and you won't give them anymore. And they are going co they, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Literally. Look, in love, all my cards just keep falling, y'all, all alone. I feel like you all alone. You got people in love with you, and you're not even in a relationship, Devon Feminine. You're not even in a relationship with nobody. I don't feel right. These, this is like love-hate relationships, though. People are also very jealous of you, envious of your light, of your authority, how you stand ground, how you go after whatever it is you believe in, how you're a mother. This person's regretting whatever this is. Trying to come against you with the five of wands. 
you knew this person was battling you or coming against you. You had to defend yourself from this person, even fight with them, argue with them, whatever this is here. But you didn't under you didn't know like the severity of it. I feel like for some of y'all, this person tried to get you killed. Or their mother did. They regret this though. This king of wands. I feel like this person's coming out as the king of wands because they always had some type of sexual desire for you. But some of y'all, I don't know, it's not looking good for this, this, this queen of cups. Yeah, fix this now. Somebody here, yeah, I feel like somebody is plotting on it. Somebody is plotting on trying to fix something to make it so that you end up on a, on a chopping block and they don't. Because for whoever y'all, uh, whoever I could be talking to, Divine Feminine, somebody's mother had their hand in this. Somebody you were dealing with, a master, their mother had their hand in this. I don't know if this person lied to their mother. I don't know what they did. Cry wolf or something here. But they regretting that because they tried to come after you and they could have tried to kill you or end you in some kind of way. And I feel like it's going to happen to this woman instead. And she could be telling this man, like, you need to fix this. You need to fix whatever fuck it is you did or, yeah, prove it. It's like, prove it, but somebody can't prove something. Somebody can't, somebody can't, it was something about getting, yeah, playing some type of game with you to try to prove something or do something here. But it involves some type of spell work or, you know, manipulation. I'm hearing manipulation spells, trying to manipulate you into something. A cult. Who is this? Yeah, this is somebody who took advantage of you. For some of you guys, they could have physically R A P E D U. Okay. As a child. Uh, fall in love again and pimples. This woman, or she could have did this to this man, if, you know what I'm saying? But this woman, her goal is to try to manipulate you to fall back in love with this son of hers or this, this king of wands energy to manipulate you. Uh, to, yeah, use and abuse you. Yeah, somebody got pets. This, this uh, king of wands here. But some of y'all, you, you probably don't even know this damn king of wands. You probably don't even know this King of Wands. For some of y'all, it could be an ex. Um, for some of y'all, you don't even know this damn King of Wands. Or you don't even know they got their hand in this shit. Like, say, for instance, you just recently met somebody or something. And you didn't know that they were the King of Wands. Like, in this particular reading. Like, you working with your mom to do something to me? Like, what is weird, right? Like, some weird shit. Yeah, I just see mind control, y'all. I can never make it up. I just see mind control. But some of y'all they want to try to have they wanted to try to have a baby by you. What y'all get into it for though? I feel like you know something about this person. Like you know you need to def defend yourself. And for some of y'all, y'all got into it because this person wants you so bad. I want you so bad. They want you so bad. Like it's almost stalkerish. This person could be stalking you. For some of y'all, you got into it with this person or you're into it with this person. Not necessarily, but you got to defend themselves because you know, like, that they were messing with, like, other feminines and stuff like that. And putting you in drama, in the middle of conflict. Look, yes. This person wants some more. They want to try to figure out how else they can do this to you. Yes, yeah, Spirit said walk away, but I feel like you walked away. Yeah, I'm here. Congratulations, you won. For some of y'all, this is a mind game for them. And because you walked away, you won. But I don't even get, like, you was trying to win. But this person's all in their head about it. They're affected by their thoughts. Yeah, and they're with, they're in a relationship with a karmic as well, who only care, care about them for their money. So it's like, man, I don't care, you know, guy, boy, man, I don't care about you. I just... You know, these kids need some shoes or I want to look nice. I want to pay my bills or whatever. I don't care what you do. Look, broke. I'm telling you, this woman's broke. Or this man could have did this to this woman, manipulated her too. They can manipulate a lot of people. And maybe it was just something to where, like, 
you know, make them stuck enough where they need them. And they could have tried to do this to you, like, oh, you don't got to work. I'll pay all the bills. You just stay home. And then next thing you know, they don't want you to go outside. They want to be abusive or mentally abusive or they want to talk down on you or be mean to you or treat you any kind of way they feel like you can't go nowhere or you can't do nothing. Um, even turn you against your own family so you only depend on them or rely on them or, or be with them or trust them. And they were the whole ones who lie, cheat and steal and destroy. It's their mission, their goals. I don't know. This person is also a hater because you're pretty. They could be doing stuff to your face or they face could be broken out. They could have these big blotches or pimples. Yeah, I feel like once upon a time, for some of you guys, you were in love with this person. You were in love with them or there was some type of chemistry between you guys. It's no longer, but they want you to be back. And I'm here open them with welcome arms. They want you to welcome them with open arms. Like, oh, yes, love, come back and manipulate me some damn more. No, nope. I'm here chucking up the deuces. And your yoni, your yoni is very healthy. I, I keep picking up somebody's practicing celibacy, okay? Somebody's practicing discipline, all right? Not having sex with nobody, okay? For some of y'all, you like to self-pleasure. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. It's better than going out here hopping on each lap to get you a little zzzzzzz, okay? Whatever you need to do. See what I'm saying? That's why she don't need to be in here talking about zzzzzz. But I want to pull one more. I want to see what this is right here. I just wanted to see what you will do. What is this, high power? Somebody tried to make you jealous, I feel like. Y'all, my answer is so funny. I'm here. Somebody tried to make you jealous with a broke bitch. Oof, excuse my language. Uh uh. No, well, get out of here. Somebody could be light skinned and skinny. Somebody could be mentally disturbed or they could have like six to ten kids. No, I don't want you in here while I'm saying what I'm saying. <sighs> okay, somebody could be a prostitute. Okay, prostitutical. I'm hearing prostitutical whore. That's what I'm hearing, y'all. Yep, that's what I told you to get out of here. And look what I said at the word. I said, be, look what I said at the bottom. I said, uh, I said, what did I say? I said, <laughs> I said, look what I said at the word. I'm also here at the work. Look what I said at the work. Somebody showing somebody something of a text, a text message or something that they said or that they're doing after work. Somebody showing somebody something and laughing about it. Look what I did. Look what I said at the work. But I said after word. Mm. After word though. After word. After doing whatever the fuck they were doing, they're showing pictures and shit. I don't know. I'm also hearing blemishes. Somebody's skin could be breaking out. Um, I don't know. I'm getting like, yeah, I'm here chucking up the deuces. Somebody is dissing the fuck out of somebody. Somebody could be jealous, spiteful, envious is what I just heard. But look at here, we got, look what I said at the bottom is what I meant to say. B-I-T-C-H is be trying to keep up, that's my aim. Somebody here wants to live a celebrity lifestyle. So they feel like they got to do that. They got a F-U-C-K-I-N-G for M-O-N-E-Y. Somebody trying to keep up with somebody's energy. They're trying to act as if they're all that in a bag of chips. But then you got to do this type of stuff for that. Like, well, really? That's how you sleep at night? Okay, if you got to have it that bad. All right. But, um, yeah, look, broke up. Somebody told somebody, I'm out of here. Bye. Somebody's not in love with somebody no more. Somebody can be dealing with a cancer. Or cancer can be significant. Somebody could be spiritual or becoming spiritual. Yeah, somebody's healing. Somebody also want to have sex with somebody, and somebody's jealous of somebody because they're beautiful and they're plain Jane. Meaning, like, this person don't need no makeup, they don't need no jewels, they don't need none of that shit, they don't got dressed extra fancy. They go out here and still turn heads, and they're humble about it. Period. Ooh, and somebody want to eat your yoni? Somebody want to eat your yoni? Somebody begging, like, can I have you please, baby? You don't even, 
ask for none of that attention, but you get all that attention. It's something like that that somebody finds somebody is so attractive because they don't even try too hard. You know how you look at somebody, you're like, you're trying way too hard. You trying to get some attention. You trying to have somebody stare at you. You trying to do that. You trying to do that. Like you only do that for attention. Like somebody just walk through life and be humble and do what they want to do and and you know be. I'm I'm here like be nice about it and be like you know genuine about it. And somebody only does things like I'm getting like somebody that will only volunteer and help at a um, a homeless shelter. I give people homeless people money only because. They want to be known for that. Like, they want people to say, like, you always get people, you always help out. Whole time, this person has an evil spirit. They just, it's just something about notoriety. It's something about people seeing them do stuff. It's like, I'm not going to get that bum a dollar unless everybody around to see me do it. You know, that homeless man a, a dollar unless everybody around to see me do it. I'm not going to be, for some of y'all, they even mean the animals. But, I mean, shit. That damn empress in reverse, nine times of ten, they be sacrificing animals. But you'll know when people don't got a nice spirit. Some animals do like people that don't got nice spirits, okay? It all depends. Um, cause I'm getting like pets, it's coming out reverse. For some of y'all, when you see people having pets, they'll have a pet and then next thing you look up, they don't, they sacrificing these animals. Or they'll get a woman, a woman dog or a woman cat or something, like when they have this period. This is something I learned. This was like a download. When they have this period, they use that blood for sacrifice. So they might have a female dog, okay, and they use that blood. For some of y'all, they you might notice that they have a lot of pets. Like, damn, you just had a dog. What happened to your dog? Oh, my dog's sick. He died. Then they got another one. You know what I'm saying? Something like that, like. Yeah, whatever. You weird. Like, but for some of y'all, I'm hearing the humane society. Yeah, for some of y'all, they be somebody be going to the humane society, picking out dogs and stuff, adopting them, and then sacrificing them. Or they get like stray dogs and cats. But nowadays, you don't see a lot of stray dogs and cats. So it's rather that, or like they they breed them. They could breed them too and sacrifice them. Or know somebody who do. But that's all I have for you guys. I'm in it on now. Thanks for chilling with your girl. Um, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing to the channel. Thank you so very much. If this video has resonated with you or helped you in any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so that you're updated when there's new videos. I love you guys, and I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, sending up, sending love and light till next time. Peace, love, and prosperity, family. I think I'm feeling like I'm feeling like Kai Power still want me to say something about this. My eyes was drawn to this. It's something else still here. I just wanted to see what you would do. Somebody here be putting on a show. I just wanted to see what you would do. Can you give me something else on this high comment? I was going to end it out there. Somebody's not happy with the results behind whatever this is. Putting on some type of show. For some of y'all, they was trying to front. They was trying to front your life off. Somebody wanted to make you look like a fool. Somebody wanted to make you like a fool on purpose. What else is this high card? What else you want me to say? Somebody trying to come in. This is what high power saying. Whoever do, dealing with this person that's like, I just, I was just playing. This is somebody that's playing the game. I was just playing. You really mad at me because of that? Oh, you mad off of that? Woo, 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 woo. For some of y'all, they told a lie out. They told a lie on your gift. Whether your gifts and your abilities and higher power does not play about that shit, or they told a lie on you might. Find somebody to be a gift, okay? You might find a person to be a gift from God, and they lied on this person. And this is something that could have changed your life for the greater good. 
And there is, it's giving me an energy like somebody coming around you being in this playful energy. Well, I was just playing. You mad about that? Are you for real? Like, that's 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 serious. Woo -woo -woo -woo. And, it, and with this, I just want to see what you will do. This person acting as if, I probably want me to say that this person is acting as if it's harmless. Like, it's nothing. All in reality, they want to, they want to see you hang yourself. They wanted to sacrifice you and hurt you, and they wanted you to let them do it. Keep that in mind. That's for somebody. They wanted you to let them do it. It's like, um, yeah, I'm hearing all eyes on me. Almost like sacrificing yourself for stardom. Or somebody sacrificed themselves for stardom or notoriety or publicity. Look, it just fell right on my hand. Notoriety, notoriety or publicity or something like that. Somebody wanted to be known in a spotlight. Or this person wanted to be known for doing something to you. Or they wanted you to sacrifice yourself. And thank you. Okay. For something, right? They told lies about a gift. Okay, whether your gifts and your abilities, like if you told a motherfucker that you were psychic since you you know when you were you know you've been you've been saying things and you said it as a child somebody wants to take that from you because they know you will have had no 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 uh notoriety or success right but for some of y'all the this says open it says open closet i'm hearing open casket i'm, I'm now i'm hearing burial site and i'm hearing saucy face I mean, I'm seeing salty face. I don't know, y'all. Take that however it may resonate with y'all. Look, I just seen it again. Open closet. Something's coming out the closet here. This person, I feel like this person definitely did try to sacrifice you or offer you a... Whoever this person was that lied to you about something that was supposed to be a blessing to you. This person is now unhappy because they already know what's to come. And that's for somebody. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl. Um, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity. Till next time, family. Bye.